What's poppin' collective? This is your girl, the spiritual assassin. Welcome to my channel, The Cognitive Queen. As you guys can see, my throat chakra is back, so I'm ready to deliver you guys more messages. Again, let's get on the ones and twos, and let's just go ahead and get this read um, started. And today, guys, we are covering the air signs, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So the energies that I have for them are who's associated with the air signs is Pisces energy. I have a um, Cancer Virgo energy. I also have Scorpio energy here. <clears throat> I have uh, the the planet Saturn here in the reverse. I have Earth signs here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. I have fire signs Leo Sag Aries here, and I have more water signs Cancer. And Scorpio energy here. And I have someone who has Mercury in their birth chart that's here is what I'm picking up. So that's all the energies that I have that's associated. Oh, more energies. Hold on. I also have Virgo. That's a karmic energy here. Cancer, that's a karmic energy is here. And there's a Pisces that's in their, their, their positive energy here. I see that what's crowning the read is Geminian is crowning the read for the air signs here. And the secrets has been lifted whatever that's going on here so there's a karmic cancer cancerian energy here and there's a karmic virgo energy here so that's totally two different individuals that these secrets has been exposed about or i'm about to expose it so we're going to tap in and see what's going on with these energies i could be talking to someone who is a thinker a group of people who are thinkers communicators people who are doers who go out and go get it you know what i'm saying that you don't have to question them so that they jump right on it you could be an entertainer you could be in a business you could be a prominent leader in your neighborhood um or in the city here i see that you guys have a live and let live mentality here you guys are very intelligent you guys do make um decisions easily and whoever I'm, i am talking to you are in the upright of your energy so you are in the in the um positive energy is what i'm picking up so i feel like that somebody found out they was dealing with some comics here and we can expose and see what's going on remember the room the moon represents illusions and secrets and that's can Cancerian energy too. So something could have happened under this moon where well, something was revealed here. This last full moon we had is what I'm picking up. Uh, yeah. And most of the Cancerians people are um, hyper emotional people, temperamental, and they are very spiteful. This energy is possessive. Someone who likes to hold on too, too tight onto people. They put a lot of pressure on people. Um, they try to keep people stuck to them when people don't want to be with them is what I'm picking up. Uh, and your birthday could be uh, between February 19th to March 20th. Piscerians are very intuitive. They listen to their gut before making most of their decisions. You can be a visionary or a business owner or you and you guys like to dream a lot. But I feel like today, Cancerian energies I'm picking up are karmic today so these people are not in their right energy as well as some piscerian energies here so i'm picking up on a community of people that tried to bring one person down is what i'm picking up so it was a community of people out of all those signs i read it's a community of people that was trying to stop someone or some stop you or someone coming closer to you or for you guys to unite is what i'm picking up there could be a Virgo energy here that's very obsessive, critical, and excessive. They pay attention to insignificant details. This person could be a per perfectionist, but this person is very obsessed over you. If you are dealing with a karmic energy, this Virgo energy, when this Virgo lose, un lose control of themselves, everything around them backfires. So everything just start crumbling when things don't go their way. They make sure that you don't have a good day if they're not having a good day is what I'm picking up. So this is some real toxic ass energy that's around you. I feel like there's a Pisces that's in, in their upright, either he or she. And I feel like this person is very intuitive. Yeah, and this person listens to their gut. They make sound decisions. This person could be a visionary and like I said, a business owner. And like I said, Pluto, if you got Pluto in your birth chart, then 
You could be, uh, it's the Scorpio. So my reversals or my, what I want to call my karmic energies that we're dealing with right now are Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn, Aquarius, and then uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, and Virgo. If you got a planet, Pluto, that's in your birth chart. Pluto represents Scorpio. Saturn represents Capricorn and Aquarius. And Mercury represents Gemini and, and Virgo. Just to, you know, let you guys know about your planetary setups. And if you want to know more information about that, I can help you tap into your planetary alignments on that end. All right, guys. So those are the energies I'm picking up so far. Like I said, there's, there's three people here, four people here. So it's one, two, three, four. There's four people here. Two are karmics. Two are in, in the upright energy. And then there's seven other individuals that are, that are in a comic, karmic community that wanted to see you guys downfall is what I'm picking up. So we're going to go ahead and tap into these energies. If y'all know anybody that says Taurus, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Capricorn, Aquarius, you need to stay away from these people. Also stay away from this Virgo as well. So with that being said, we're going to tap into these messages. We got, I got some song. I got a song for you, this Eminem. So we're going to go ahead and get some channel messages. Um, the song Work It Work Out Me with Eminem. I saw two trailer park. He said two trailer park girls go round me up outside. So this masculine was dealing with two. Was <laughs> hold up. So this masculine was dealing with two trailer park hoes. Is what I'm picking up. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> hey, guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. He says, Shady's back. Tell a friend, guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> so there could have been a pimp here or someone who had two different lovers here. <laughs> Somebody thought they was Superman here. <laughs> Somebody is a monster. Somebody said they created a monster. He said, if you want Shady, then this is what I'll give you. So somebody could be very shady here. Somebody could have went to the hospital. Somebody could have had an operation. Somebody is on a period all of the latent. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm just picking up all the messages. Somebody said, just let them be them and let them see. He said, it feels like it feel so empty without me. So somebody saying that they may feel empty without you. Somebody just settled on a lawsuit. Yeah, just follow me. He said, uh, somebody might like a little bit of controversy. I forgot, how, I forgot about this song. It's so funny. So little aliens starting to get rebellious. <laughs> so somebody feel like that they... <laughs> Some I think that they're trailer park hoes, that they acting rebellious. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up. Somebody's ready to start a revolution. Yeah, everybody like to kiss this person ass here. He said, I'm he said, I'm coming back. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> he said, you coming back for the winning? All right, so we're going to put that on pause. I was That was fun right there. That was Eminem uh, without me. And somebody masculine is dealing with some uh, raggedy hoes. That's what I'm picking up. <laughs> so two trailer park uh, females. This could be Caucasian females or it could be any race. I'm just picking up on what the song is saying. So we're going to go ahead and tap into these messages. That was funny. <laughs> Uh, so what I'm getting from the song is there's someone that has two lovers. Um, 
this person feel like that he's a Superman or I seen Robin. So I'm getting like this man, like I got, I got the juice over here. I got two women over here. The community look up to me. You know what I'm saying? So somebody was feeling they self, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm picking up. They say, well, hell, who is you without me? You know what I'm saying? So this motherfucker thought he was goddamn the, what I want to say? <laughs> the arch type of, if you're not with me, then you against me and you must be lame if you don't choose me type of energy is what I'm picking up like an arrogant ass person. A pompous ass person is what I'm picking up. <laughs> so who is you without me is what I'm picking up. Somebody was very arrogant. Yeah, somebody was dealing with the Empress in the reverse here, Taurus energy here. And someone see them as not a wish fulfillment anymore. Can you clarify this Pisces energy for me, please? Whatever that's going on with this situation, this Gemini found out about these secrets. They have been unveiled or they are, are about to find out about these secrets. Possibly about these two karmic females. We're going to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah the eight of swords here somebody could have left you confused and left you binded and left you feeling in prison made you feel like you ain't had nowhere to go or no were not nowhere to go but you felt stuck and confused and and you were trying to what i want to say figure out what was going on but this person was lying to you and was keeping you stuck and confined and bounded to your thoughts is what I'm picking up. But you always have a choice to move from a situation here. Yeah, this Empress energy could have had you stuck in your head here. Uh, could have blinded you here. Could have had you uh, wrapped up in a bunch of lies and deceit and bullshit here. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah, you thought this person was your gift. Can you clarify the Eight of Swords for me, please? This is a Gemini Libra Aquarius. So uh, someone could have been dating a Pisces energy here. This Gemini Libra Aquarius was dating a Pisces energy and she left you or he left you feeling stuck, confined, restricted. You didn't know what was going on. This person purposely left you in the dark is what I'm picking up. You was dealing with someone, Aries Leo Sag energy. Somebody who was very in and out of your life. Someone who was only coming in for passionate love, passionate sex. Somebody who was uh, taking both actions towards you. So there is most definitely an Aries, Leo, Sag. So there's a water sign who was being very passionate. Um, by They was, yeah, being very passionate to keep you stuck and keep, keep you confused about a situation. They did not want you to know something here. What is it that they didn't want this um, Gemini to know? Can you clarify this Knight of Wands? That somebody was dealing with a King of Pentacles energy is what I'm picking up. What I tell you, somebody was juggling you with the two of pentacles here. So let's clarify the king of pentacles. Uh-huh. The five of swords here in the reverse. Somebody has accepted a loss or chosen gave it to give in to a battle to avoid conflict. So someone chose to go back into a cycle. Ooh, so somebody walked away from someone that was causing them setback and delays. Someone found out someone's secrets and they still went back to this person because of money. But this person was like a, a fraud here, a thief here. So this person was like getting fake loans and falsifying documentation to get their money, doing white collar crime to get some type of residual income here. And your person wanted to avoid some type of conflict. Let me see. Somebody was working real hard at something. Your person felt like they could not move forward. They felt like they was, they feel like that they had to handle something in the past. They had a difficult time of transitioning over. There was one that was being resistant to change. Let's get some more energy. Can you clarify this five of swords? All right, so here we go. So past energy. There's a king of swords here, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. 
They got in a relationship with the Aries Leo Sag energy. They offered their cup of love to this person, this uh, Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy. So they did um, offer a romantic offer to a fire sign is what I'm picking up. Somebody was most definitely in, in their emotions, using their emotions to make sure that they get this offer. Well, somebody was most definitely was was in love with this person. But with the five of swords in the reverse, someone felt like that they had to choose this battle. Or something about them was going to be exposed. So someone didn't want to be in this relationship. So they felt like they had to stay in a relationship. So whoever this king of pentacles is could keep either assisting them or keep their mouth closed is what I'm picking up. This person could have made some bold action, a bold action, or was going to make a bold action towards something here. So your person felt like they couldn't leave this marriage because there was some kind of karmic cycle that was they was attached to. Your person could have walked away from it, but they chose to stay in it with this not with this Aries Leo Sag energy. They was they had some type of business going on here. But this person was a, a fraud. This person was working with fraud, was very fictitious. Financial co corruption is what I'm picking up. Your person felt like that they had no choice but to accept this defeat from this person. They did marry this person in the past. They gave them a passionate offer. Now your person is cutting this person off in the near future is what I'm picking up. So that's somebody energy, not everybody energy. Let's get some. Let's get some more energies. Sorry about that. Can you clarify the Pisces in the reverse? Thank you. Yeah, somebody was doing witchcraft here to keep your person stuck. Yeah, this was a false twin flame here. Your person was stuck to. This person wore a mask. Seventeen oh seven. When I said that. Your person, it came in a reverse. Your person was finally got it to walk away, but they didn't walk away to a new direction. No, well, they didn't walk away for one because this person was under um, spell work. Yeah, the community knew about this, about these lovers. And they knew that this motherfucker was a snake. This person was could have been pregnant, but all he do is think, is think about you. Yeah, but there's been a death to this situation. You will get a message about this. That this family situation is over with. Somebody's working real hard to, to keep you guys apart. This false person right here. She could be a life path number eight. This Piscean energy right here is keeping you guys apart from each other. She's also, a, they was in a relationship. And this person also got Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo in their birth chart. Somebody was expecting some type of, uh, was expecting some type of unexpected income here. There's going to be a message about some unexpected income is what I'm picking up. You are on a new pathway. So somebody who's on a new on a on a on a pathway to whatever that you're going towards, you're going to be receiving unexpected income here and there's about to be a message that's coming in towards you. Can you clarify who's this who's getting this unexpected income? Pathway energy for me please. This masculine male right here wants to give you roses. So whoever you are that's about to get this unexpected income, someone wants to give you roses. And as you can see, he's coming to bear some type of truth. He's coming with purity here. Anybody else? But someone is trying to stop him from coming towards you. And this is being discussed in the family room. Yeah. But somebody is working real hard to start a new to, to travel to common waters with you. But somebody was married, could have recently proposed to this person, but this situation is in the reverse here. There will not be a new start here because the secrets was expo exposed. Yes, the truth has been enlightened here about someone's great fortune. What's going on about this great fortune? That someone had other options here. And someone was going after someone's great fortune. This main male. 
Someone try to keep you held on. This main female here. Somebody was trying to hold on to you. So there's there's a main male and a main female that was trying to keep somebody stuck to them so they can receive great fortune. Confirmation. There's a karmic community that knew about this setup. Yeah. And you brought death to that situation. You guys will not be journeying alone. Hold on. Let me see. Somebody now wants a journey towards you after they ended the situation with someone to this mature woman. They're ho hoping and praying and wishing that you guys get back together. And because divine timing is up now for a karmic energy that he was associated with, there needs to be change in this situation. They was in a relationship together. Someone did not study the subject before they got with them. Somebody did get married with this Hierophant card. But they bring death to that situation. Ooh, child. That's past energy. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to get some more messages real quick. From my deck. Who is this Pisces energy? Just going to get a couple cards before we move on. Yes. The karmic saying, you think you're better than us? No, you just vibrate higher. That's just crazy. <laughs> yes, because you have stability here, collective. And they need to work on their self-love. Somebody watches you secretly. Something could have happened six hours ago. And something could happen two hours ago. You could be a life path number eight who I'm talking to, but somebody likes to tell beautiful lies. Somebody who works uh, as a prostitute is a crazy bitch. And with the 11 hours being here, this was your, your false twin flame who I'm talking to. Masculine energy. Now you know who she is. So let's go back and get back into current energy. Who is this current energy? Cancerian reverse energy. So you thought that this Pisarian energy was some type of uh, positive influence in your life. Come out to find, come to find out this person was negative, karmic ass energy. You could have been dealing with a Pisarian as well too in the upright, but you chose to deal with a Pisarian in the um in negative energy and karmic energy is what I'm picking up. You had a Page of Cups. You started a, um, a new. Adventure with a uh, page of cups here with a young energy here. So can you put, uh, clarify cancer in the reverse? Yeah, you chose to deal with a queen of wands, Aries Leo Sag energy. This was somebody who misdirected you. And you started a family with this person. You went on a new leap of faith. You started a new leap of faith, a new journey with this person. What happened to the situation, Source? Ten of Pentacles, please. Yeah, this person broke your heart. Now you're fighting with this person. You're fighting with the community. This person could be jealous of you as well. Yeah, the, your, you, bro, you breadcrumb somebody here. Whoever I'm talking to. You breadcrumb someone here. If you're on the wrong side of the energy, I'm talking to you. You breadcrumb somebody here. The seven of swords. You gain realization here. Let me get the cards out so I can see what's going on with these energies. Yeah, oh, somebody found out that they was dealing with the devil and had to get them pull their energy back and had to gain some insight about this toxic ass relationship that they was in with a queen of pentacles here. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You possibly thought, possibly thought this person was nurturing, caring, and loving, mothering energy. You 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 made it. You felt like that you couldn't swim away from this person. You thought it was too hard to get away from this energy. Maybe this energy was holding something over your head here. This is a person that you was in a toxic relationship with, with the two of cups in the reverse. But you have gained realization about something here. 
that somebody was breadcrumbing you and was giving to someone else and was giving to you as well. So they was giving more to someone else than they was giving to you. You guys possibly was getting into a fight, into confrontations, into arguments here about this situation because this person broke your heart with the three of swords here. Yeah, you had a family with this person, a business with this person. This person purposely misdirected you down the wrong path. This queen of wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Let's go. And this person was manipulating your emotions. This person was a grand emotional manipulator with the cancer card in reverse. They was coming in hot and passionate like they really wanted you. They loved you. They cared for you. And they played on your emotions. And that's how they got you trapped in into a situation. Okay? So let's get some more cards out here. We're going to get more clarification. Can you clarify the Cancerian in reverse for me, please? Thank you. Yep, you was most definitely dealing with a Pisarian energy. It came back out. <laughs> Somebody who wore a mask here. And you had a deep knowing about this. Your ancestors tried to warn you about this. Yeah, you didn't. Did you listen to your intuitive, intuitive messages? Because I don't think you did. Because if you did, then you wouldn't be putting yourself through this drama, or you wouldn't have stayed somewhere where you know it was gonna have a negative outcome for you. Is what I'm picking up. So you you made your bed and you had to lie in it. Is what I'm picking up. Because you didn't want to face some type of truth here. You was being divinely guided to walk away from this Piscean energy. Someone who was being very manipulative on um, with you. Yeah, this is what I tell you. You had to end this situation with this uh, karmic ass female. This person could have did a lot of research on you. Research could have did a lot of. Could have been gifting you, researching on you. But this person was was being methodical. Yeah, but their time is up on this situation. Somebody was being very methodical to make sure that you didn't go anywhere. So they, they put all the tricks out their bag to make you stay. Or to keep you stuck to them is what I'm picking up. Can you clarify this um, divine timing card? Yeah, this person did use uh, black magic on you. Sex magic, glamour spells, whatever they needed to keep you stuck. Now there's a masculine hoping and wishing and praying that he can come back towards you. Or this karmic energy is hoping and wishing and praying that he comes back towards her. Can you clarify this divine timing card? Yeah, someone was in a relationship. Who was in a relationship? Someone that you took a risky behavior with. Yeah, this person was using manipulation and magic and trickery to keep you stuck in a situation. But can you clarify this magician card? Someone that you married. Oh, yeah, y'all signed this contract right here. So you get married towards someone with these flowers, bouquet. You most definitely marry someone who is pulling mind tricks, fuckery, and trickery over you. This person, you started a, a false foundation with this person. You could have lost money dealing with this person. This relationship was too materialistic. Y'all remind me of the Joneses. Always doing what everybody else like. Always going by other pe people's opinions and not by your own. Y'all try to outshine other people by hiding behind materialistic shit. So that is a false ass, a fake ass relationship. You was an in with the courtship card. But the divine timing, divine came in and ended this shit. And current energy with this karmic ass female here. You have gained intuitive messages from your ancestors about this Piscean energy here that was manipulating your energy. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of my messages. There's a prostitute that be online sucking cock. <laughs> and you are a part of the 100 and one, you are part of the 144,000. I feel like I'm talking to a masculine, but there were secrets here and you are the chosen one. So there is a man. I feel like I'm talking to masculine energy. So divine counterpart, divine masculine. You are part of the 144,000. Your, your girlfriend is a prostitute and she be on line on the block sucking cock. Remember you are a chosen one and someone have secrets here. This person has secrets, but with the moon in the reverse, these secrets have been exposed or are on a way of being exposed. Let me hurry up. And you could be a rapper or a singer who I'm talking to. Yes. And you, the universe do love you. And 
The karmic always wear a mask. This person is nasty and foul and trashy. Queen of Swords energy in the reverse. And this uh this masculine has always loved you, divine feminine, or divine feminine always loved you, masculine. All right, so let's go ahead and get the next energies before I run out of time for current energies. What's going on with the current energies? Current energies for this Virgo in the reverse. Ooh. So someone has been blocked. They cannot touch you, harm you, or come towards you. This high, this high priest is in the reverse. Somebody was, somebody could have tried to send some type of black magic your way, black magic your way with this attack card, with the high priestess card, but they failed. This magic didn't work is what I'm picking up. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands in a reverse, this Cancerian energy who, this Cancerian energy, Ace of Wands, deliberately kept trying to misdirect you down the wrong path has been putting magic on you. Virgo energy, Libra energy is what I'm picking up. This person, attacks did not work on you though. Period, point blank. This person is going through a bunch of attacks. So I feel like whatever whatever that they tried to send you is being sent back to them. Period, point blank. Yeah, that's Queen of Wands. Yeah. Someone who took a new leap of faith, a new leap, a new leap of faith towards this person. This King of Cups. This person who was partying. Who married this person. So your person got married to someone who he was in third party energy with. He gave a, a, a emotional offer to this person, started a new journey with this Queen of Wands energy. They are fighting in a community, but I feel like Black Magic, whatever that they try to do, do did, did to you, or whatever spell work, or whatever whatever rumors, or whatever the fuck that was going on, has been turned back to these motherfuckers. This is some this is someone who uh, who purposely died misdirected you masculine and this is libra energy here someone was not a fucking high priestess this was a fake ass wannabe mask wearing ass karmic here that you was dealing with that tried to send some attacks your way but they would not win that text has been returned back to sender period point blank and now we finna get some messages for my cards before this video cut off and i ran away from how i truly 